Well, welcome back to OG's Garage. Uh, today, <laughs> you know me, I'm working on all kinds of weird things, but today I'm going to put a uh, rotisserie on my old smoker that I've had for about five years. And today, uh, that's what I'm going to be working on. And uh, if you're interested in ever doing anything like that, follow along. And uh, we'll both work th through this together. So, first thing I did was I went out and I bought uh, brackets for it and uh, the bar to go across, the rotisserie bar. So let me show you what I did. So first of all, <clears throat> what I did was go on uh, online and I bought these brackets that I'm going to need to mount my motor. Actually three different brackets here. This is just the uh, it's just the counterbalance and then a little package of bolts. One of the first obstacles that I ran across is there wasn't a notch on the lid that I could uh, put the, the bar through but I noticed that there were knockouts for it right here that I could remove there was one on uh, on each end of the lid there was one on this side too that you can knock out like right here so that was the first thing I had to do because when you close the lid obviously um, there wasn't any clearance on here for the rod and there wasn't one on the bottom so uh, that's what I had to do is knock these these I have to knock out these uh, these little notches here which I'm going to do right now so I got myself a pair of channel locks I'm sure you could use anything here that and I'm just going to work this back and forth, hopefully. Let's keep working this until I get this out of here. There goes one. And I have to do the same thing to the other side here. There it goes. So that goes to uh, these little knockouts that come there. Now, when I close the lid, I'm going to have my hole there for my rod okay now if you don't have those little knockouts and you want to put a spit on there you're going to have to do a little research obviously um, to see how this rod is going to fit across there All right. here's my rod here and it fits all the way across the lid into my motor. Okay, so that's one obstacle that I, I overcame here. And now if if you don't have these notches to knock out and you want to add a motor, you're obviously going to have to create um, a, a, a notch there or a hole for your for your rod. So fortunately this manufacturer gave me the option but you might not have that option on yours in which case like I said you have to either grind something in there and if you're gonna do it make sure you measure you know measure where that where that notch is gonna go on either side of the of, of your lid you know so you don't <laughs> so you don't have a cockeyed you know rod going across at an angle so so here we go it's the next uh, hmm, the next obstacle I had 
was the motor. Now, ordinarily, the motor would sit right here at the end, and the hole for the motor would be right there. Now, the hole for the motor obviously has to line up with the notch on your lid. Problem is, I have this grate here, so the motor will not go down far enough it won't go down far enough to match up with that with that hole you see what I'm saying so I have an option I can remove I can remove this grate which I really don't want to do it's really handy when you're when you're cooking and smoking that's one obstacle that I'm gonna have to overcome and the way that you do it is when you when I bought those brackets let me show you hang on they gave me these two pieces which gives me the option see the motor way that works is the the motor has a slide and this bracket slides right in there and ordinarily you would just mount this bracket onto your grill so that when you added your motor all you had to do is slide it in here like that and that way you could you could put your rod your grilling rod right in that hole there and lock it into your motor then you're all set to go like I say here's the problem they took that into consideration when they gave me this bracket here that you, this, this might be a problem. That was a little smart of them. So what they did, what you have to do is mount this on here so that the motor slides sideways, not up and down. Okay? So that was a good that was a good idea on their part to do that that way I can still slide I can still slide the motor on there this way and like that now I'm able to line up the hole with the notch and bring that all the way across. I was fortunate enough to have holes pre-drilled. You can see the two holes pre-drilled on my grill. So when I when I bought this grill, they kind of thought of everything that you might need to notch that out and you might want to put a spit on here. So this one has the two holes drilled so that I could just mount this up they give you a couple of uh, options here on this bracket that you can that you can use so you figure how your bar is going to go across whether you want to use the bottom ones or the top ones I'm probably going to use these closer ones to the top but you can go up further if you want but if you do make sure that your notch when you put when you put this when you put your lid down that it's going to close on that rod good if you have it too high this notch the bottom you might bottom out on that that lid notch so keep that in in your mind when you do that okay if you don't have those holes obviously you're going to have to drill those holes just uh, and that's pretty easy to do just line up where you want to do mark it with a with your marker or any kind of uh, marker that you have and then just drill your holes uh, probably about eighth inch holes is all you need on that uh, on each one depending on you can use you know you can use but this one accommodates about up to about looks like three six inch at the most bolts would be, work good on that and if you have to use a washer on there, that's fine. They, they, with that kit, they give you the, the nuts and bolts that, uh, that you're going to need for to mount this. And they got little washers in there with it. So 
if you're going to use that. So, okay, so here we go. Put your rod up across there. See where, see where your lid's going to come down on that. And, uh, and go accordingly. So when you close your lid, when you close your lid, make sure everything's going to rely on that lid coming down right on this bracket. So when you when you close your lid, uh, got this backwards here. When you close your lid, make sure everything lines up here right so that when this lid comes up see it fits in there otherwise you're gonna have a problem here so line this thing up try to line it up with the center and you can do that when you when you do your holes down there uh, match your holes up to this and make your holes according to the center of this thing here like that see and drill your holes, mark them, drill your holes, and then you'll have that, then you'll have that the way it's supposed to be. Okay? And make sure that's center with your lid all the way closed. You can just use your rod for reference here to where the center is going to be and everything. So, okay? That takes care of this side. That's another challenge done. Okay? Just make sure. So when that comes down, that fits right in there. Okay, still another obstacle. When I went to mount that bracket on here, the bolt, <laughs> the screws they gave me, the bolts they gave me, were too big for the holes. So, <laughs> so I had to get my little drill and uh, and uh, drill those holes out a little bit. And uh, not too much. I think they're just like maybe a little tiny bit, little tiny bit bigger than uh, than the holes. So drill out your holes or get smaller uh, smaller screws for it. You know. So I have to do the other side too because obviously. All these holes are going to be the same size. So, so before you uh, you mount this thing to your grill, put this put these things together. They go like just like that, and use that. They came with little screws for that, little, and use the small ones to uh, to put this thing together here. I'll show you why you have to do this before you mount it. Now you don't need a nut for these because it threads right into this. It threads right into this uh, the other bracket without a without a nut. And it might be a little hard to get them in there. You got to force them in there because they made this so it's it's kind of like vibration proof. Be careful when you do this because you have to probably use a lot of force to get these in here for obvious reasons and I'll show you in a second. Tighten these things up till there's no play in, in, in the bracket so you might have to use a little bit of force to do that. Okay, that's a little play in there, a little If you got any play in there, make sure you torque them down. You don't want you don't want your motor wobbling around all over the place if these brackets are loose. They're hard because they got a little lip on the metal here that's on purpose so that this doesn't vibrate off. That's why it's so hard to get on there. Okay. You can see, but I don't know if you can see. There's a little flange on there, on this on this bracket. So do that, and do that before you put this on here. 
Alright, so once that's done, now we can mount it onto the uh, grill. You got upper and lower holes on your on your bracket here, so choose which one you want. Like I say, if you want to double check, put your rod back across. Center this rod on these two holes that, that are pre-drilled in here and you'll get a better feel for that. And it should be up off of your grill, should not be resting on your grill. Should be up at least at least a quarter of an inch up, up off of this grill. Otherwise when it turns it's gonna be rubbing your grill, okay? So things to think about. And then this thing should be in the center of that, and it probably will be if you got those holes drilled. You want to double check that. Line up those holes with this bracket and close your close your close your lid, watch your fingers. Uh -huh. I might be rethinking of where I'm gonna put these holes. I think I'm a little too close. I'm a little too close to my uh, to my grill. If I use these these top holes, I think I'm just going to go ahead with these bottom ones and uh, and use these bottom holes instead. But you know what? They're pretty easy to change out. So uh, if you don't tighten them down, uh, you can always uh, change those out. So. Okay, so I finished mounting this bracket with these two bolts that are supplied by the uh, the manufacturer of this product here. Right at this point, what we want to do is we want to put these this nut and bolt in there, but don't tighten them all the way just yet because we have to adjust that bracket, okay? Here's what we're going to do and, and make sure but when we put this bracket in, let's mount this motor real quick. Now the motor, as you all know, just slides slides onto that bracket, okay? And then your rod goes in there and make sure it's all the way in. Okay, and it should seat itself in there. Okay, once you do that, kind of line yourself up with the other side for now, and kind of let's move move this. I got some junk in the way here. Okay, um, what I want to do is bring bring your lid down. Make sure that that lid clears clears that rod. If if it doesn't, you have to you have to loosen the, the, the nuts a little bit, the bolts, and uh, and adjust adjust the bracket so that the rod is in the center of it. Okay, as much as you can. And then once you once the rod is in the center of that, you can tighten these things down. Okay. Might have to lift this lid here. Okay, we got a little. Then tighten, tighten these bolts up pretty much. You can always go back and readjust this thing, you know. It's not like you welded it on or anything. Tighten these things down after you're satisfied that you're in the center here. Now, 
I'm able to get to these screws in spite of this shelf being here, but if you can't get to these screws, you might have to temporarily remove this, uh, this shelf. Uh, I don't know how your situation is there. Once you tighten these up here pretty good, they should be okay. Let's go to the other side. Okay, so we're on the other side now, and we're beset with uh, with another problem that I I noticed right from the beginning, and I just figured I'd figure it out as I went along. So here's my problem. Okay, so let's say so. There's I drilled out those two holes on here, and they're centered on the unit and I'm putting but you can already see that this is sticking out way too far for my lid to come up past that so that's one of the problems another problem is when I put when I put this adapter on here to fit into that notch okay When I close the lid, if this is all the way in, it's just hitting the edge of, of, that, of that lip, the lid is. And I can live with that, but then when I tighten this thing, you see, it just barely can move past this thing. If I want to keep, I got a handle here somewhere, but my handle sticks out yet another, uh, where the hell's my handle? I don't know. Anyway, let's just say that it sticks out, you know, another four or five inches. It's still going to, I'm not going to be able to open this lid at all. So I have options here. I can either cut this rod right at the end here where it meets the bushing and it'll probably clear that. Um, another thing is, is to keep this in the handle and just open this just open this lid enough to put the put the coals in the, and, the, and the wood in. Because it will, it, you do have like a good 14 inches of clearance here um, before it hits before it hits that rod. So that's another option. So these are the things I'm going to have to think about uh, while I'm going along here. But you can see the problem I'm having. So there again, there's not a lot you can do. There's only two holes on here and just do it like it did the other side, line it up so this rod is center in uh, you know in this hole so it closes good. Anyway, let me think about this for a second or a couple of minutes and uh, I shall return. Well, there you go. <laughs> Another project. Uh, well, you see, uh, we ran into a few obstacles there with the holes and uh, lining that up, and of course, the the rod being a little long. But you you can make choices. I mean, you you could figure it out. Main thing is is to line that thing up and make sure the lid closes and uh, things like that so alright well thanks for watching and we'll catch you uh, on my next project